Desperate residents of Khan Yunis flee on foot, carrying what they can of their belongings. On Monday, Israel ordered people out of swathes of the main southern city in the Gaza Strip. As they left, bombs fell on areas still described as safe. Many are being displaced for a second or third time since the war broke out on October 7th. Hamdi Zahir from northern Gaza says he sheltered for a month in the Ashifa hospital, then was ordered south to the safe areas they're now being told to evacuate. Send us to the grave and be done with it, he says. Some 80% of Gaza's 2.3 million people have now been made homeless in an Israeli bombing campaign that has reduced much of the crowded coastal strip to a desolate wasteland. Israeli forces largely captured the northern half of Gaza in November. Since a week-long truce collapsed on Friday, they have pushed deep into the southern half. This house in Khan Yunus was struck overnight. Nisreen Abdulmoti lives next door with her daughter and two-year-old baby. They told us to move from the north to Khan Yunus since the south is safer. And now they've bombed Khan Yunus. Even Khan Yunus is not safe now. And even if we move to Rafa, Rafa is not safe either. Where do they want us to go? The parts of Khan Yunus people were ordered to leave were home to more than 350,000 people before the war, the UN says, not counting the hundreds of thousands who crowded in to take shelter from the bombs. Medical officials in the enclave say Israel's bombing has killed more than 15,500 people, with thousands more missing and feared buried under the rubble. Israel launched its assault to annihilate Hamas in retaliation for the October 7th attack by its gunmen, who killed 1,200 people and seized 240 hostages, according to Israeli tallies.